Hey guys, it's Wack Tech to show you how to jailbreak the brand new Amazon Fire Stick. This is the remote I'll be referencing in my tutorial. Since we're installing third party applications inside of Kodi, it's recommended to have two Amazon Fire Sticks with different accounts because your personal data can be accessed by these third party developers. I'll discuss best practices as we go along, so without further ado, let's get jailbreaking. It's recommended to start with a fresh Amazon Fire Stick. If you need help restoring back to factory settings, here's my other video. Let's start by going to the main menu and locating settings at the top right of the page. First, we're looking for applications. We need to turn collect app usage data off. We don't want to send app usage data since we're installing third party applications. Just press the back button on your remote to go back to the settings page. Now we're looking for the device option. Select it. Once inside a device, we're looking for developer options. We want to turn ADB debugging on. We also want to turn on apps from unknown sources. I know what you're thinking, this is a security threat. This is why it's recommended to have two Amazon Fire Sticks if you have an Amazon Prime account. They can't see your billing information inside of the Amazon Cloud, but they can see your email address and IP. This could potentially identify who you are. Don't worry, I will cover VPNs in another video tutorial. Press the home button to go back to the main menu. Now we need to search for ES File Explorer. The reason we need ES File Explorer is to download Kodi. You also don't need to finish typing Explorer when searching, just make sure you select the right application. If your account is new and you see the option get, you need to add a credit card and billing address on the Amazon's webpage. Sadly, this is required to download free application. I've already previously added my information, so I'm gonna click download. If you see this pop up, just click the big button on the remote. Make sure you give it some time to download and install ES File Explorer. Once it's complete, you'll see open and a notification on the bottom right hand corner. Select open and wait for ES File Explorer to launch. Be patient, the Amazon Fire Stick does take some time to load. If you see this pop up, just press back on the remote. What we're looking for is favorites on the sidebar. It'll expand when you click it. Move down and click add. This will create a bookmark. The first field is a path. This is where the Kodi download web URL goes. Take a minute and type it in exactly. Once you're done typing the URL, click Next. Now it's asking for a name. Keep it simple and name it Cody. Click Next and it will go back to the previous window. The Cancel button will be highlighted so you want to click Add. Then you'll see Bookmark created successfully at the bottom of the screen. Scroll down until you find the newly created bookmark. Click it. This will load the Cody's webpage. This is where things get a little tricky. You want to use the arrow keys to scroll down on the web page until you find the Android logo. We're looking for the arm link. Click it. If nothing happens, go back to the sidebar and scroll down to the right. This will allow you to use the bottom menu. You want to click the more button with the three dots. The more option will expand with some options. We're looking for open in browser. This will actually start the download. When the download is complete, a success message will pop up. Open folder will be highlighted. Click open file. Press the down arrow keys and click install. Give it a second to launch the Kodi install file. Now it's showing us what privacy settings Kodi is accessing. Click install. When Kodi is done installing, use the arrow keys on your remote and click open. If you made it this far, pat yourself on the back. Alright, we're not quite done. Select the gear icon at the top next to the Kodi logo. 
you want to find system settings and select it. Once inside, move down to add-ons. We want to enable unknown sources so we can install repositories. The same security warning still applies. Third-party repositories can cause data loss or crashes. Click yes to proceed. One last thing, let me show you how to get back into Kodi from the home menu. Go to settings at the top of the page. Move on down to applications. Click it. Look for manage installed applications. Kodi will be located inside. If Kodi is acting funny, you can force stop the application. All right, in my next video tutorial, I'll discuss third-party repositories. If you have any questions, drop me a comment and I'll get back to you.